そこまでだ我が名はカトペスラ第三宇宙の人々を悪から守る正義のポリスマン Cotopesla is one of the first characters to fight back in episode 97, so let's see what he can bring us. So he has a left kick, a knee block, and a right kick. And you will be surprised to know that these are one of the first and only occurrences on where he kicks. <laughs> Note that I'll try to maintain his dignity whenever I can, but come on, this is Jiren. There's no way he would budge to anything below god level. Either way, that's a dashing punch, so we gotta note. Sure, this is a pose, but can also be a proper kick. Check out those abs, but yes, Catopesla can change modes or rather stances. While he shouldn't alter his moveset per se, I imagine something like his base form will have normal moves, normal speed and normal damage. In speed mode he'll have 50% more speed and 15% less damage, whereas this battle mode will have 50% more damage and decrease his speed in the same amount. But yeah, this is the proper pose of the super dab punch attack. Funny, it ranges between the EC, VA, and S, much like a scoring system. So, what are your guesses for the other modes? And his first proper combo is just a pummeling between left and right punches. Not much to add, really. I'm not very fond of those since they lack proper choreography. But, given the context of the scene, I cannot be too mad at it. Because after all, Vegeta was letting him punch, so what else are you gonna do? Just gonna punch the crap out of him. And we finally arrived to episode 119. I never thought that episode was going to be in the highlight of anything, really. But I guess that Loki ruined a little of Katapesla because of the episode. I'm not sure which kick this counts as, upwards or downwards. This is literally what he did to Vegeta before. Left and right punches in a pummel. But at least here we get the full poses of the punches. Incidentally, his ultimate mode would yield a 50% increase to his damage and speed, however, it's a power-up akin to Golden Freezer, in other words, it won't last forever. <laughs> and this here only reinforces my view that he's mainly a brawler with fists and not many, many kicks. Glowing gloves should obviously grant another attack boost. <sighs> And again, no kicking allowed. But games can spread that to include other types of punches, like backhands, uppercuts, well, the usual. I do like the tray of energy from his hand though.
今こそ見よう俺の最終奥義カトベスラザ・ファイナルミッション And this is his most powerful ultimate move. What a shock. I don't know what I was expecting. But in all fairness, it went up against a final flash, so we cannot diss it just like that. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate that his tail in the helmet is to keep his hair up like that? And that was it for our man Katopesla. He was very enjoyable to watch in the tournament, and I hope he gets some proper in the coming video games. And sadly, this is all he does in the manga. Katopesla, thanks you for watching.